alle zusammen und willkommen zurück and welcome back. So, first of all, thank you all very much for the positive feedback for my app. Vielen Dank für das positive Feedback. Uh, we got a lot of rating on the App Store that it was positive, also messages and everything. So that's very nice. Vielen, vielen Dank. Thank you very, very much. And we are also working on the Android app. So no worries, that will be coming soon. So, für dieses Video habe ich auf Facebook gefragt, welches Video soll ich als nächstes machen? For this video, I asked on Facebook, which video should I do next? Und viele von euch haben gesagt, ein Video über Redewendungen. Many of you said a video about German expressions or idioms. Deutsche Redewendungen. German expressions. Los geht's! Ich verstehe nur Bahnhof. This literally means I only understand train station. So it just means you don't understand anything. Zum Beispiel, wenn ich jetzt ganz schnell mit dir Deutsch spreche, verstehst du irgendetwas? So now I talk German to you very quickly and you could say, Anja, ich verstehe nur Bahnhof. I only understand train station. I don't understand anything. Nummer zwei, du gehst mir auf den Keks. This means you're getting on my cookie. I don't know where it's coming from. It just means that you're really annoying me. Ah, oh, du gehst mir auf den Keks. Ja? Yeah? So you're annoying me. Er geht mir auf den Sack. <laughs> so uh, this is actually not very polite to say, really. It's, it's vulgar. And it means he is getting on my balls. So he is a pain in the ass. And this guy is a German actor, yeah, ein deutscher Schauspieler. Und er heißt Till Schweiger. His name is Till Schweiger. And he said that once in an interview. It's about refugees. You don't have to understand anything, but the last bit you will hear, hopefully, Sie gehen mir auf den Sack. It's like you're getting on my balls. And later he also apologized for saying that, but let's have a look. Verlogen an dem ganzen Ding. Wir verschwenden Milliarden der Steuerzahler. Jetzt wollen wir einen Soli abschaffen. Warum nehmen wir den nicht für Flüchtlingshilfe? So, Herr Schweiger, jetzt müssen Sie uns die Gelegenheit geben, dass Ach, alles... Ja, Sie, nein, nein. Sie gehen mir auf den Sack. Echt. Ja, so what he said, uh, said was like, ah, sie gehen mir auf den Sack, echt. So it's like, you're really getting on my balls. Okay, das nächste. Ich hab die Nase voll. It's like, I have my nose full, literally. And it just means I'm fed up with something. Zum Beispiel, for example. Seit drei Wochen hat es in Sydney nur geregnet. Since three weeks, it has only rained in Sydney. Ich hab die Nase voll. I am fed up with it. And another way to say this is a little bit more impolite. It means, ich hab die Schnauze voll. <laughs> so this is like, I, I have my snout for Schnauze is a bad word. For example, you can also say, halt die Schnauze. It's like, shut up. It's not a nice word at all. And it also means, I am fed up with something. Very fed up. Ich hab die Schnauze voll. <laughs> so, das ist nicht mein Bier. Meaning, that's not my problem. That's not my business. Literally, it means that's not my beer. So, das nächste. Das ist mir Wurst. This means it's a sausage to me. It's sausage to me. Meaning, I don't care. In German, we can also say, das ist mir egal. For example, we can say, wollen wir mit dem Zug oder mit dem Auto fahren? Yeah? Do we want to go by train or by car? And you can answer, mm, das ist mir Wurst. Yeah? I don't care. Whatever. Hast du nicht mehr alle Tassen im Schrank? This means, don't you have all the, all the cups in your cupboard? So basically it means you're crazy. Yeah? Hast du nicht mehr alle Tassen im Schrank? But what did you do? Like, you're crazy. Du bist verrückt. Okay, so in English it would be like, you must have lost your marbles. Das nächste. Gegensätze ziehen sich an. So this is also literally, and the meaning is the same thing. It just means opposites attract. Gegensätze is the opposite and sich anziehen is to attract. Anziehen can also mean to get dressed, yeah? Aber sich anziehen is also to attract. Und das letzte, the last one, wer die Wahl hat, hat die Qual. He who has choice has agony. So Qual means, ah, oh, hier gibt es so viele Joghurt. Yeah, there are so many yogurts here. <sighs> Zu viele, too many. So you have a problem. Basically, in English, it would be like more choices, more problems. So, das 
ist alles für heute. That's all for today. If you like this video, please press the like button. I will continue doing more videos about expressions because we have many, many. Wir haben viele, viele Redewendungen. If you are interested in watching some German slang, please have a look here. There is also some very useful um, everyday language, yeah, Umgangssprache, die Umgangssprache. So you can have a look here if you want to subscribe, you can do that here. And please also check out my Facebook because there I might ask you sometimes what video do you want me to make and post some funny pictures and stuff like that. Dankeschön und tschüss!